and welcome to the first annual Lakeland Finland Sustainable Destination Congress. It's great to have you with us. Thank you all for joining us. This very congress is organized by Visit Lahti and Lahti European Green Capital 2021. My name is Kim Mohtonen and it's my honor to be your host today. For the next six hours we will be exploring topics such as changing consumer behavior and green, emerging green trends that we've witnessed over the years in a global sphere. What are these trends going to be or how can we develop and promote more sustainable practices these are some of the questions that we will be discussing today. And of course, we will be taking into consideration the effects coronavirus has had on the industry on the whole. Challenges are great, but we believe that it's safe to say that future is going to be good for tourism as well. Of course, tourism will operate in a different global landscape. We believe also that uh, um, um, tourism uh, offers great opportunities for for new, new jobs and cooperation between people in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, today's seminar brings together uh, the host destinations and communities, tourism professionals, uh, tour operators, experts and also entrepreneurs to share their knowledge with us. And also we would love to hear from you as well. Please send your th thoughts and questions to us via on the on the screen.io or tweet us by using the hashtag SDC21. We would love to hear from you during the day. Our first session of the day will focus on how tour, how traffic and transport companies can prepare themselves for future challenges of the industry. So without further ado, let's get this show on the road. We are pleased to have the Minister of Economic Affairs, Mr. Mika Lintila with us here today. Mr. Lintila will officially open at the event in a video greeting. So without further ado, Mr. Mika Lintila, welcome. Dear tourists, professionals, ladies and gentlemen, I warmly welcome you all to the Sustainable Destinations Congress to discuss one of the key issues for the future of tourism, sustainability. I cannot think of a better place for discussing the sustainable development of tourism in today's Sustainable Destinations Congress than the brand new European Green Capital. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate the city of Lahti on being awarded as the European Green Capital of 2021 as the first city in Finland. This nomination is a well-deserved recognition for the long-term environmental work carried out here in Laht. In addition to this development towards a greener future, we are following the great interest the work Laht is doing as the coordinator of the Finnish network of sports cities also highlighting of the numerous possibilities of sport tourism. Considering environmental aspects is essential also in relation to sporting events and tourism associated to it. Dear friends, in recent years tourism has become a major industry in the European Union, with wide-ranking impacts on economic growth employment and social development. The year 2019 was a record-breaking year for Finnish tourism as the total tourist demand exceeded 16 billion euros. As we all know, the pandemic has put the European tourism industry under immense pressure and tourist companies of all sizes are facing acute liquidity problems. The Finnish government is committed to doing its part to help the tourism industry serve this crisis. The recovery of tourism in the regions is supported by 29 tourism projects launched last year, all located in different regions of Finland. Ladies and gentlemen, Finland can 
prosper in the post-COVID-19 period by focusing on our natural strengths, our clean nature, diverse culture and a stable and secure society are Finland's assets. These must be cherished uh, and preserved. The clear water of Päijänne and the nature of Salpauselka Geopark are the drum cars of Lakeland, Finland. Improving the sustainability of tourism now is an investment in the future. A sustainability of tourism is a key issue for the societal acceptability and the future of the sector. Tourism actors must invest in the development of sustainable and responsible tourism project, products and business practices. Emphasis is required on developing a low carbon and resource efficient global economy. For example, in terms of food production, water consumption and waste minimization. The Finnish tourism industry has already shown an exemplary responsibility as companies and tourism regions have developed the operations to be more sustainable even in the means of the global COVID-19 pandemic. And finally, this pandemic has shown us by utilizing the possibilities offered by digitalization and developing our products and business operation models towards a more sustainable ways of doing things. Tourism industry can emerge from this crisis as a more resilient and sustainable industry than it was before. Our common goal is to make sustainability and competitive advanced of tourists. The transition towards sustainable tourism is a long and challenging process. It requires commitment of different actors at all levels and is not possible to achieve without cooperation. In these exceptional times, I wish you all strength, success and above all the courage to believe in the future. Thank you.